Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you all had a really nice week. Um, today's reading is going to be for divine soulmates, divine counterparts, where there is a karmic relationship or situation involved. I will be doing the reading as if it is on the masculine side, but as I always say, you can take those messages to apply for the feminine as well, okay, if that is your situation. Um, before we get started, though, I do just want to quickly say I thank you guys so, so much for sending prayers for Oliver. I totally meant to give an update last week, and then I totally forgot. Um, but he is doing a lot better. He's only sneezing like a couple times a day, maybe. The vets aren't really sure what it is that he had. Um, but he does appear to be getting better, so that's all that matters. So I thank you guys so, so much for that. And I also thank all of you who got a personal reading with me this past week. Um, it really was a big help. It was a big help, especially for Oliver's medical bill. That's why I actually did the um, discount. So yeah, thank you, thank you. And I think that's all I have to say. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get into this reading. I might have to keep it a little bit short this time. But then again, I always say that and then like it ends up being long, so who knows. Um, yeah, do keep in mind that it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you would like a personal reading, of course, all the information is in the description box. So we're going to get started. We're going to look at the masculine's energy. And here's Mannix. It's not Oliver. <laughs> Mannix is the one who likes to make appearances. Here, at least show your face. Be polite. Yeah, he will probably move in just a bit. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, we're gonna start by looking at the masculine's energy, just overall in general with some oracle cards, and then we'll get into the tarot and look more specifically into their energy towards their karmic partner, relationship, person. It could be anybody, it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be a relative, a coworker, or it could be a, a situation. So just take the messages as they make sense for you. Keeping in mind that it may also not be your situation. All right, and then we will look at their energy, yeah, towards the karmic, and we'll take a quick look um, at the feminine's energy, and I think I forgot to mention the masculine's energy towards the feminine. Sorry, I, I jumbled all that up, but you guys get it. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the masculine's? All right, in peace. All right, we have rest and rejuvenation. And actually what I'm getting with this card this time around is that it's a lot of, it's a lot of thinking. Um, it is some resting. I feel like this resting is mostly from their feminine, but I'm feeling a bit of agitation also in their energy. So I feel like this is really um, that they're not taking much action at the moment towards their feminine, but there's a lot of thinking that's going on in the background. Let's see what else we get here. I feel like this is going to clear up a lot, actually. Oh, okay. So we have understanding, karmic partner, and solitude. Yeah, so that's what it is. They're taking some time away. I do feel like they're spending a lot of time alone. Um, again, like I said, there's a lot of thinking and that's why we have the understanding card because there's a lot that they are understanding. They're just not taking much action or haven't been, okay? Because this is also um, a little bit of the recent past, like what's been going on in the past week. Um, and blending into the current energies. Okay, we will be looking at the near future energies separately. So there's a lot that they're understanding when it comes to their karmic situation or whoever, you know, might be a karmic partner to them. Again, it could be a relative, it could be a coworker, a boss, a job, anything, all right? Um, so yeah, and it does feel like they're also spending a lot of time apart from this person. So they might physically be there, but they're also pulling away. And not only that, if this is a romantic partner, they're feeling alone. They're not feeling like they are bonded. They're not feeling like they are a unit. They're feeling like they are literally alone. Even if they're married, they're feeling like they're, like they're not. Okay, so there's a lot of thinking concerning all of this and there's a lot that they are understanding i think it was in a um i think the last reading we did 
um, that was involving a karmic situation. I think we got that they were discovering, or maybe it was last week, that wasn't the karmic, it doesn't matter, that they were discovering that there is either somebody deceitful in their lives. So for a lot of you, this could be the case, right? They're, they're understanding that. Or it could be that they are the ones being deceitful because they're with somebody that they just don't feel like they are meant to be with, right? So let's get into the tarot and get more details here and hopefully Manix will make some space here soon. But for now, it's okay. So what is their general energy in their karmic situation right now? Just overall in their life concerning this. Ooh. All right, we have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, so I was right with that rest and rejuvenation card. I was picking up on that agitation. Here it is, right? Shown both by the Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, it's not that they're at peace. Not at all. <laughs> um, there's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety because what they're realizing is that... Um, this whatever this situation is that they're in it's not something that they can bring into balance with other things in their life like it just doesn't match it's something that they cannot handle and these other things of course for a lot of them have to do with their divine feminine like they they just cannot handle it um they're still there obviously right they're still there, but I feel like basically they're feeling like it's already done and that it's almost as if they've already gone through an ending. Like they've already been through the ending and that it's in the past, but it's like physically they're still there and that's why they're stressed. But it's like the ending has already happened and that's why they're feeling alone. And this is what they cannot manage, right? Feeling that aloneness with this person or, or with this situation. So let's see what else we get here. Let's get more specific concerning what they're thinking consciously. The moon in reverse, the world in reverse, and the ace of cups. Okay. So these are pretty strong energies here. There's something that is coming into the light here, especially in terms of love, and in more especially in terms of self-love. And what does love mean? What is love? Like it was something, an illusion of love. What is true love? And what does it mean, you know, if something is done energetically or emotionally, but I'm still there, but there's no love. So it, there's a lot concerning love and feeling like they don't have that in their lives. Like that is something that is not complete and that is missing and that that's something they cannot handle and that's what they're stressing about here. And with the moon being in reverse, there's a lot of clarity concerning that, something that was an illusion or something that they were trying to keep, you know, in the shadows of their mind. And it's like, they can't, right? Anything that has been repressed, which would be the moon upright, um, is coming up to the surface. Or has already, already has, right? This is in their consciousness right here. That it is not, it is not complete. This is not a situation that, that completes them. So this is very, very conscious at the moment in their minds, especially concerning love, whether this is love or whether it's not love. And for a lot of them, maybe there is some kind of love there, right? Depending on the situation, if what the situation is or who the person is, there might be some kind of love, but there's a lot of clarity regarding that and whether it is complete. And I'm getting here that it's not. 
So let's see what's going on for them emotionally concerning this situation. Okay, we have death in reverse. The sun in reverse and the four of cups in reverse. There's a little bit of resistance here in terms of making a transition. It almost feels like um, there it, it's it's like there's been a lot of settling, settling for something that again is not complete or that doesn't feel complete to them. Again, there's awareness of that, but emotionally. Um, there's a little bit of resistance to making that transition. I actually feel like this masculine that we're tapping into today has actually grown accustomed to not being happy. So it's like to them, that's, that's like the norm almost. Um, it doesn't mean that they want to stay that way. They don't because they're very conscious. Like there's this clarity about their lives not being complete in terms of love. But... It's like they've become so used to it and that's why it's, a, it's difficult for them to transition. Um, that's what I'm getting here, especially with this Four of Cups also being in reverse. It, it feels like a settling and um, just, and I mean, this is a lot of depression here, okay? Sun in reverse and Four of Cups in reverse. It's a lot of depression, but they're feeling emotionally in this situation. But again, um, almost like afraid to move away from it. So yeah, I didn't want to clarify, but I think I actually might clarify some of these. Um, but before we do, because things might clear up, let's see, let's get a little bit of their energy towards their feminine, but we are gonna need space. I'm sorry, Lennox. Here, you can sit on my lap. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's see. Masculine's energy towards their feminine. He's like, no, I don't want to sit on your lap. <laughs> I want to sit on the desk. Okay, so for their energy towards their feminine, we have the King of Pentacles strength and the page of swords in reverse okay um they're beginning to find some stability in their energy towards towards the feminine um this could be playing out in a number of ways i am also getting though with the page of swords being in reverse that communication you know might still not be 100 percent. it might still not be there but at the same time i'm getting that th this is giving me a vibe of like a lot of a lot of curiosity but to the like extreme um a lot of curiosity and a little bit of agitation attached to that curiosity, but not much, not much communication here. We'll see. I'm going to clarify that. Um, I do really like the King of Pentacles and the Strength card, though, okay? Because this is showing that they're finding a lot more stability when it comes to finding that strength, finding that courage to accept whatever it is in the connection with the feminine that may have been intimidating in the past or that may have been um, unstable or felt unstable to them or maybe even fearful. Let's see what else, what's going on with them mentally. Their headspace towards their feminine piece. Okay, this was way too many. I'm not even going to turn them over. Sorry, guys. All right, let's get one more. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the High Priestess. Interesting. So, obviously with the Ten of Cups, you know, they're at a conscience level. They understand, just like we have that understanding card, right? They understand that this is where their happiness is that this is who they want to be with. So it's not just that they're feeling it, they're also thinking it. They're, so they're very, very much aware of this at the moment. Now, with this Queen of Pentacles being in reverse, though, um, I, I feel like they're feeling some kind of um, a detachment, possibly, from their feminine, feeling like you might not be there for them as you once were, in a way. But not in, it, it's not a bad thing. It's not in the bad way. And I don't mean that you don't love the masculine or that you wouldn't care or nurture the masculine. I'm not saying that at all. But to me, this is coming off as them understanding that you're not being a doormat. Or at least that's what they're, what they're feeling. Um, or what they're thinking, sorry. And it's interesting because I actually feel like that is the case for a lot of you that, you know, you're not just, you know, it may have used to be that, you know, you were feeling like, yes, you are committed to the masculine, even if they are involved in whatever else, okay, even if they're not 100% committed to you, even if they're not, you know, giving to you as much as would be fair. Um... I'm sorry guys, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> There's just so much going on. Um, yeah, so it used to be that you were still like there, like giving off that vibe of I'm committed, I am there like 100%. And it's like now you're not. Now you have some expectations in the good way. Like you have some standards, you have some boundaries. You know, you're not just freely giving no matter what. You're expecting them to be this king of pentacles in order for you to be this queen of pentacles. And at the moment, you know, they're not, even though it's interesting because it isn't their energy, like they want to. It's like now they're stepping, it's like because you pulled back in this way, and it could even be very, in very, very subtle ways. Very, it could be very, very subtle, you know, like not um, initiating contact or, you know, if there is contact, not being the one to initiate um, meeting up, for example, or it could just be completely on an energetic level. Whatever it is that you're doing, you know, that put them into the King of Pentacles energy, even if they're not showing it yet. And I do get that they're not really showing it just yet. And if they are, it's very small because of this Page of Swords being in reverse. But they're moving in that direction with the Strength card. And it's because you pulled away or you pulled that back. Like you're not just a doormat, just, you know, waiting and, you know, just readily giving them everything they need and, you know, babying, pampering if you're not getting the same in return. So, and with the High Priestess here, yeah, they're very much aware of this, very much aware of that. I don't feel like they're expressing it so much to you, but they're definitely picking up on it. Okay, so let's see emotionally. Okay, we have the Two of Cups and the Star together. Wow, <laughs> both upright. Um, so yeah, that just goes back to what I was saying with the Ten of Cups. I mean, look at all this love here. Um, I mean, emotionally, yeah, they're they're not in denial at all. Um, it, it's like they're so into this acceptance of, you know, this is my person and this is what I want. And there's a lot of desire. There's a lot of desire for you. Okay, on an emotional level. And there's a lot of hoping. I feel like the masculine is actually very, very hopeful for this. And I feel like this is actually in line with what I was saying before with this Ace of Cups here. Um, but this Ace of Cups is next to the moon in reverse and the world being in reverse. So, which is that they're understanding a lot about love and a lot about self-love. 
which you know ultimately leads them to to the feminine so we also have here the eight of swords in reverse okay and the six of pentacles in reverse so again overcoming whatever fears or whatever blockages they felt um, or there between them and the feminine. So again, I feel like they're feeling less intimidated by the feminine if they've ever felt intimidated by this connection um, or you know, if there were certain obstacles that they felt they wouldn't be able to overcome between, between themselves and the feminine. Again, it's like they're feeling like they're not trapped and I feel like we've been getting this Eight of Swords in reverse. Um, I think it's been in like three consecutive readings for the karmic situation. And it's funny because in the last video, I don't remember if it was the last one or the one before, um, the thumbnail that I used was actually the Eight of Swords in reverse. And then I just happened to notice after I had posted the video that the video right before that, the thumbnail was exactly the same one. It was the Eight of Swords in reverse again, just from like a different deck or something. Um, and I, I didn't do that on purpose. And so we're getting this Eight of Swords in reverse a third time, at least. Okay, so then with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, they're still not giving as much. Um, I feel like that's because emotionally they're feeling this imbalance. Um, this is something, the connection, they really want it now, right? They're feeling a very strong desire for this. Um, but I'm getting that... <sighs> Even though they're feeling like those blockages are like dissolving, right, towards the feminine, um, they're feeling less than. They're feeling like they, they want to be this king of pentacles. They're moving in that energy, like I said before, but they're not 100% there yet in order to be able to give to you 100%. And that's because, like I said before, this death card in reverse here, there's a little bit of some kind of resistance here. And it could even be because they're in this depression. Um, and sometimes depression, you know, it like makes us feel like, oh, I can't move forward. Like, oh, yeah, I need to do this. I need to bring about this ending or make this change. But when you're depressed, you're very low energy. And so it's like it feels like you don't have the energy um, to go through it. Um, I still feel like they are because the, the pull to their feminine is so, so strong. And they're thinking a lot about love and they're seeing that love is here with the feminine. Okay, it's like <laughs> ten of cups, two of cups, the star. Like, wow. So actually what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to clarify a couple of cards um, that we got here towards their karmic partner um, or situation. And I want to start with this death card in reverse, this resistance to the change because they're depressed. Let's see. Was this okay so this is the devil in reverse actually i just had to look at it up right it's the devil in reverse the ace of pentacles and ooh, the seven of wands so okay so what spirit is saying here is that yeah there is this resistance um, to the transition, but they're being pushed in that direction because the devil is in reverse here. So they're overcoming um, the attachment that they have to this, to the connection with the karmic, whatever that is. And I actually feel like, give me one sec. It's, it's almost as if some kind of a wall that they had built up that was serving as that resistance like they, like it was just like so rigid and so um uh what's the word like stubbornness i feel like that's breaking down the fear of the new path the fear of the change and that resistance it's like there's a devil attached to that but the devil is in reverse and it's so it's like um you know, whatever, like, belief. So the belief is the wall, right? So that belief, that wall, it's like, it's breaking. And then there's another one behind that. And so they're, like, subsequently breaking down. They're breaking down the walls that were keeping them tied to the karmic. Like I said, there is a little bit of resistance to that, but Spirit is clearly saying here that they're releasing it. They're releasing that attachment. They're breaking down that resistance. 
And a big part of it, actually, what I'm getting here is that um, they're afraid of the, there was a fear of the new path, which could be related to the feminine. But because they're resolving their fears concerning the feminine, it makes it easier to move away from the karmic. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so in other words, it's like, I feel like this masculine here may have been holding on to the karmic just because there was a fear of, well, if I leave the karmic, then I'm feeling such a strong pull to the feminine that obviously like I'm going to have to move in that direction, but that connection scares me. That connection intimidates me because it's so intense or, you know, because we have certain differences or whatever. Uh, maybe societal issues. So, the more that they resolve those issues with their feminine and they're not feeling as intimidated by you anymore, the easier it is to let go of the karmic. So yeah, I feel like this really, really um, fits in. Um, let's see, is there anything else to clarify here? Uh, let's see that Nine of Swords with that Two of Pentacles, like just that top row. Um, why they're feeling so stressed, what it is that they feel like they can't manage, feeling like it's already done. All right, and we have the Eight of Wands, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, and the High priestess in reverse. Okay, yeah, see, so there are, they are, it's like they're breaking down that stubbornness. And because they're getting rid of those blocks, there's a lot of movement forward um, in terms of what it is that they are understanding and in terms of the clarity that is coming up in regards to love. Um, it, that's why that wall is breaking. It's breaking down. Um, but it also, <laughs> it also creates stress because it's a change. And because that wall is breaking down, it's like, you know, they're not in denial anymore. It's like realizing, hey, you know, I gotta bring this ending on. It's already done, energetically and emotionally. So it has to happen in the physical as well. And they have to speak up at, about it rather than keeping it to themselves. So that's proving to be a little bit difficult for them to manage. Um, and I do feel like it's showing through with this eight of eight of wands here because that's, you know, that's all about action and communication. So yes, even though they're not taking much action, I feel like they in their vibe, this is being um, externalized to the karmic. It's it's very, very obvious to the karmic partner or whatever the situation is, okay? Just take what resonates. So, um, let's just get a couple cards for the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up in the next week. Any messages for the feminines? All right, we have the thinking woman, okay. So it feels like there's some mirroring here because like I said before, it's like the masculine is doing a lot of a lot of thinking. There's a lot of understanding. Let's see what else. Awakening union and pause. Okay, so I feel like with this thinking woman, um, the feminine is thinking really intuitively at the moment, but also I'm also getting like a rational kind of a thinking here. So it, it's not just one sided. I feel like you're being very, very calm, very balanced in what you are thinking, at least in comparison to, you know, how you're thinking or how your headspace may have been recently or sometime in the past. Okay, and it's because you're awakening and because you're awakening and you're moving forward, you're realizing that, you know what, like you're not so obsessed about union. Union can wait, right? There's a pause here. I feel like you've pressed pause on whatever negative thinking you were doing in the past. And 
you know, maybe for some of you it, it might not feel that way. As I always say, take it as encouragement. Sometimes these messages are guidance, okay? So you can take it, take it however it makes sense for you. So, yeah, just pressing pause. Take a time out from this situation. You know, focus on other things. Focus on your on your awakening, on your own growth, on your own self, or on anything. You know, meditate or even even thinking. It's okay as long as your thinking doesn't take over. And what I'm getting here with the thinking woman is it's it's actually a very positive type of thinking, like just being rational and feeling balanced. So yes, it's okay to just pause pause this situation, you know, and just let it take its course. Let it play out. It's all about releasing control, as we always say. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see what's coming up. Okay, so masculines, or it's their comic situation or person. All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they've given up on this situation. Whatever it is, they're, and I know sometimes we get this like all the time, but they've given up on it. It's like there is no moving forward, not even slowly, not even trying to fix it. Um, even if it feels that way, like for some of you, it might actually seem that they are. They're not. Okay, if this is, if the rest of this was resonating with you, they're not. Um, again, with the Seven of Wands, it's like they're they're becoming more accepting of the fact that there is no future in this situation. Okay, and I feel like they're actually really coming to terms with that, really finding their their balance in terms of that. And actually, I see them beginning to take some kind of steps here, like giving more energy to breaking down those walls which are the walls of resistance, breaking down those walls of resistance to making that shift, to making that transition. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, this is a very slow moving card, right? And it's in reverse. It's kind of like, yeah, you know what? Like this is, this whole situation is just, it's been prolonged. And so they're breaking down that resistance um, because that slow moving it's like not working. So I do see them giving more energy to whatever it is that they want to do, which I'm getting here, is making that transition out of that situation. So I know it's a little bit general. It doesn't feel like it's something, you know, really specific, but, but it is confirmation of them breaking down that wall and not being resistant to that shift and to the fact that there is no moving forward in this connection here, whatever it is. Um, all right, so let's see for their feminine. Coming up in the next week or two. Is there one more? Two of Pentacles. See, this Eight of Cups is completely sideways. I'm seeing it as upright. Oh, okay, wow. We have the Sun in reverse <laughs> again. Um, the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords in reverse. And then the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, you know, there, it's, it's, it's tough for them. It's tough for the masculines. Um, coming up, they're going to feel this depression. Why? Because they don't have you. They're going to feel this depression and unhappiness because they've moved away from you or because they feel like you might be slipping away. Okay. It really depends. Some of you are, and some of you might not be. Um, but there's definitely, I'm getting some kind of a distancing here, like somebody having moved away. So whatever that is, that's creating depression for them coming up. I feel like it's, yeah, it's going to hit them kind of hard because right now they're like in this like hopeful stage and then coming up, it's like, it's, it's going to be pretty tough. Um, I do like that we have the three of swords in reverse because what I'm getting here is that they're not going to just sulk in that pain. I actually feel like with this two of pentacles, 
being upright, they're, they're going to try to make it through the storm. It's hard, it's going to be difficult for them to manage, but they're trying to make it through the storm to you. I feel like they don't want any more pain coming up. That's what they're going to feel. This depression that they're in, it's like pushing them towards, you know what, like I don't want this pain anymore because now they're really feeling it because they want you. There's this very strong desire for you. So, pedaling through. <laughs> So now whether they will make contact, if you're not in contact, that's not being shown here. It's not being shown here. Um, but I definitely see them trying to make it through the storm, basically, towards you because they're feeling unhappy and it's going to hit them hard. So yeah, a little bit of toughness coming up for, for these masculines here, but I feel like they, they're going to overcome it. And actually, even with that Eight of Cups, I see them also moving away from that unhappiness, like not wanting that unhappiness, wanting to take the more difficult path forward in order to finally resolve this pain. All right, so let's get a final oracle message to close out this reading, if it resonated. Let's see? And we have time to go. Yeah. Yeah. Time for them to go. <laughs> Can't be more clear than that. And I feel like the universe is really pushing them. Really pushing them to go. Make that transition. Move towards love. Get out of that unhappiness. So, yeah. For a lot of them here, it's time for them to go, basically and move towards their feminine. That's the message. So yeah, I feel like that door of opportunity is open for a lot of these masculines at the moment. And yeah, some of them will take it, some of them might not, um, but the universe will keep pushing them forward and there will definitely be more opportunities. It's like they go through cycles where, you know, some like an opportunity just like arises, like something happens, there's an event that's orchestrated in order to help them move away. And then if they don't, you know, then there's like a rest period and then it, it happens again eventually. So those are the messages. I thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Please give me a like if this made sense for you. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Much love.